Hello guys, welcome to the new MK Mobile video. So I have two very important topics to discuss. One is actually pretty good and the other one is very very bad. So I'm gonna split them in two videos. Today we're gonna talk about the good things, about good stuff, the positivity. And tomorrow we're gonna talk about bad stuff. So let's talk about the good stuff. And the good stuff comes uh, in the form of MK11 Noob Cybot coming to MK Mobile. Star and Sky, your haircut looks magnificent. Thank you. Wish I could say the same about you. I bet you're bold under there. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> so we got some more news. First of all, we already saw Noob Cybot spoiler and all that good stuff. Now uh, there is going to be uh, the Tower of Horror again. Which uh, kind of, I, I'm kind of curious, are they going to make two Tower of Horrors like they did with the last two towers? Like there's going to be a normal difficulty and there's going to be a hard difficulty or is there going to be still just one Tower of Horror? I hope there's going to be two. I hope there's going to be two and I hope they're going to announce another character. And uh, like, I, what was the Tower of Horror reward uh, in, the, in the beginning? Was it a random diamond card or something? Or was it some specific character? Oh god, I don't even remember. Anyway, I think they're gonna change the rewards or tweak the tower a little bit because that tower was actually easier, I think, than uh, the newer towers. And if they don't touch it, then I guess... I don't know, I kinda feel like two towers is better. More things to do for both uh, levels of players. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely hoping for two towers. Wait, let me check what was the reward of the tower before. Yeah, actually, I think it was a, I think it was a random diamond in the end. And to, uh, I'm gonna be releasing videos about uh, Tower of Horror soon. Uh, once it's released, uh, all, all, all the tips for new players. Actually, it's gonna be probably another video of my beginner tutorial series. There's a lot of things a lot of people don't know about the towers. And I want to compile it all in one video, how to be the most efficient in that uh, Tower of Horrors. So that video is going to be coming. But uh, yeah, Tower of Horrors is going to be back. We're going to be able to get diamonds. And actually, I think Tower of Horror was one of the best towers. The drop rates were actually decent. The bosses uh, weren't that difficult. Did we even have bosses? I don't think that in Tower of Horror we even had bosses. Guys, I can't remember. It was one year ago. But I think it was different. It didn't have bosses every 20 rounds, right? Uh, I guess we'll find out soon enough. That's not the point. The main, the good news, things that I consider to be really good are coming from this thread, for, from the next post. Let's let's look at this little video. Let's, wa let's watch this little video from the beginning. So here we have our trailer as usual, the beginning. We will take you. They're basically sh showing some MK11 Noob Cybot gameplay to a dark place. I can't believe, I can't wait to see how is it, how, what moves he gonna have. Is he gonna have some teleports? Is he gonna use his shadow? Okay, first of all, let, let's pause right here. Voted number one by the community, MK11 Noob Cybot. So we know for sure and now it's MK11 Noob Cybot. Still doesn't say if it's gonna be gold or diamond and it's, it, it's kinda, it could be anyway. Honestly, I think it's gonna be diamond, but I can't know for sure. And now the exciting part. Exclusive Faction Wars Season Reward, which means he will replace either Injustice Raiden or MK11 Scorpion slash Sub-Zero. In my opinion, it's gonna be Scorpion or Sub-Zero because they've been there long enough. And honestly, if they're gonna release new character, they better put him for the highest possible chance to get in Faction Wars. So, uh, basically, it's... let's see, it's, is, it, is it better as having him uh, a character, for example, with 3% chance in a pack? You can get, if you're grind enough, newer players are gonna have problems with it, but intermediate to, to uh, pro players, by pro I mean players who've been playing for a long time and have a lot of strong teams, are gonna have a good chance to get this guy because they can grind uh, the Blood Ruby pack for 15% chance to get Noob Saibot. So technically 7 seasons should be enough for you to have him. So technically months. You can farm one Noob Saibot every month. Which is not bad, if you consider that Shao Kahn, you, can, you can't even farm one Shao Kahn every month because Relic Khan is not coming back that often. Uh, same with Classic Reptile, same with any other exclusive character. I think if, if he's gonna have 
If he is going to replace Scorpion and Sub Zero, it's going to be a huge win. It's going to be super, uh, basically every player friendly, and people will actually be able to grind for him, not just rely on luck. So if you are playing a lot and you can actually, you know, you you know how this works. Even if you're having the the the, the lowest pack reward, one percent chance, you still can get him, and you don't need to pay any souls, and you can even make souls from doing faction wars. So I think it's unbelievably good news for all the players. Not so much good for new players, but new players probably wouldn't be able to farm enough souls for packs anyway. This way at least they're gonna have chance like 1%, 5%, it depends on how far they can go in faction wars. So I think this is the most player friendly way they could release Noob Saibot. No packs, no uh, tower reward, which would be actually again not for beginners at all this way everybody has a shot at him and they don't have to break a bank for him so i'm i'm really excited about this this is not the end though let's 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 let, let's read this line new survivor mode coming too wow okay so survivor mode the way it sounds they they don't have any details yet uh, i i bet they're going to release some kind of spoiler but the way i see it Survivor mode is going to be something like endless towers in MK11 when you just basically it's a tower of enemies and maybe they're going to make it each next enemy is going to be harder to beat and you just enter with one character maybe or with a team probably with a team yet yeah, one character doesn't work in this game so we have probably going to have a tower when each block is going to be like a certain team and you're going to try to get as far in the tower as possible this is a good idea, and I wonder what kind of rewards we can expect. And your health is not going to be restored between battles, I think. Otherwise, it, it's not going to be a survivor mode. That's how survivor mode should work. So my guess is going to be a tower, where you just have a team, and you can't change the team in the middle of the tower, you can't change anything. Once you lock your team in, you'll be able to get, try to get as, as high as you can, and the higher you get, the better rewards you get and it's probably gonna refresh maybe once a day or a few times a day so you can try it again and again that's just my opinion it may be completely something uh, something completely else let me know in the comments what do you think uh, this new game mode is gonna be it sounds amazing every time they announce new game mode I'm super hyped new game mode means more things to do in the game more ways to earn some nice rewards even if the rewards are bad it's something we didn't have before so it's gonna be it's gonna be nice we're gonna wait and see how how well they're gonna implement it actually so far it's looking like an incredible update i'm looking forward to it a lot and yeah this is all i have for you for today let me know in the comments guys what do you think about faction wars uh season reward as noob sidebot and also this new mode i want to see all the ideas let's try to figure it out uh, if you were right about how it's gonna be implemented when uh, I make a video on it You can tell me in the comments. I told you so and I'll be like yeah. Yeah, you did Thank you for watching subscribe for more guys tomorrow. We're gonna have a very sad discussion. So get ready for that Get ready Goodbye